walking 300 yards, Brianna. You can see the video where they're speeding in all four of these Iranian vessels, Iranian Revolutionary Guards Corps, um, coming in towards this Nietzsche. The, the and those flares, and it seems like they're shooting off. Flares, and the flares, Nietzsche right? said uh, they tried to attempt radio communications on 12 separate occasions. No Iranian response as two of the vessels are coming inbound. Look at this rate of speed. Look how quickly they're coming in to this U.S. destroyer. Finally, they alter course as they come in 300 yards. We're talking about three football fields, Brianna. This is very concerning. And you can imagine how the U.S. military uh, forces on board were seeing this and, and viewing I know, this. I know you're working on this. You're going to come back uh, with more on this. But when, when you see something like this, and this isn't the first time we've seen Iran do something just kind of unbelievable like this, it's not as if those... Uh, whoever is driving those vessels just came up with this on their own, right? That's not the expectation. Well, it was a target of opportunity. This is a routine transit in the Strait of Hermuse, and we've seen incidents like this before. Just last month, there was the USS New Orleans with the, with the CENTCOM commander, Joseph Votel, aboard when they did something very similar. Three incidents in the last year alone. All right, Elise, we'll have you back with more. Thank you so much. Now to CNN.